Dear Diary, I always go to this coffee shop close by, and there's this really cute barista. Ugh. He has perfectly tan skin, blue eyes, and I kind of stalked him already. And oh my god, he does not have a girlfriend. Not yet! <laughs> Hello people on the internet, it's Neandra and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be helping out the girls team. We are going to be talking about the secret love potion, Sugar. the ultimate recipe Bye. to get that guy to like you. Can I get a whoa? Whoa! Call the ambulance! Whoa, 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 whoa. Number one, make your presence known. A guy can't like you unless he knows you exist, so you really gotta make your presence known. Bish, I can't flirt even if my life depended on it. So you don't? <laughs> Another good interaction is sitting close to him in class. Struggling together is a great way to start that initial connection. A lot of people connect by ranting. Oh my god, the freaking exam was so hard. What did you put for number 10? Basically, increasing interactions like this make it so y'all are comfortable together. When you rack up these interactions, it'll be easier to slide it in. Slide it in. Uh, you dumbass. She meant slide in his DMs to say something like this. Do you want to meet up this week and study for the next test? Here's my number. I think it's easier to text. See? Now there's no pressure in asking for his number. Continue building that friendship as a baseline, but make sure to add flirty remarks here and there so you're not stuck in that friend zone. Number two, natural makeup. The less, the better. We all have this notion that we have to put tons of makeup when we're going out on a date to impress a guy. Makeup is more so for the girl to boost her confidence, but most guys actually prefer a very natural look. You're probably thinking, Are you serious? Yes, I am. Trust me, I have asked many guys and this seems to be a very common answer. I dug a little deeper as to why and there are two things that I noticed. Number one. Girls who have a more natural look, seem a little bit more down to earth, not high maintenance, and a lot more approachable. Number two, having a more natural look shows how confident you are in your own skin and your own unique beauty. Guys are so into this confident energy. You wanna make sure you don't change the way you look with the amount of makeup you use. A lot of guys actually wonder what you look under all that makeup. Guys really like it when you're not trying, but you're still sexy. You know, the sweats, the hoodie, the bun. Oh, yeah. It's hot, hot, hot. Number three, laugh and smile more. Smiling seems common sense, but it's a good reminder that your aura means a lot. If you are an upbeat and happy person, then it's easier for you to attract men because no one wants to hang out with a Debbie Downer. Do you? If you don't think you have a good smile, then practice in the mirror. When I was a kid, I had the cringiest smile. <laughs> so I know you can work on it. Bish, you still can't smile. Wow. <laughs> laughing. I don't know what it is, but guys love it when you laugh at their jokes. I don't know if it's like an ego boost or something, but I do think it lessens attention in the room, especially if you are on your first date. It just puts everything in a more positive mood. Make sure you also add an extra layer of compliment there, and you're all set. I love talking to you. You're just, uh -huh. you're just so funny. Number four, insult him. Are you cray cray? Yeah, you heard me right, okay? I'm not saying calling him ugly, stupid, or worthless. Ooh. Unless he's into that. What I mean is playful banter, funny remarks, and jokes. Okay, let me try. What's Whitney Houston's favorite coordination? Hand? Eye. Ha 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 ha. Gets me every time. Stop, Siri. Just stop. Girls, you gotta work on your humor. If you are funny, that's a plus 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 in every man's book. It can also be funny if you put in a good roasting on the side, but of course, you have to read the room and deliver it right. If you are a 10 out of 10 on this, then I would say you have a pretty good chance. Being able to joke around just makes you seem a lot friendlier and easy to hang out with. Guys like girls also love a good laugh. So make your personality shine. Attraction ensures the first date, but personality determines the next one. Number five, 
Stop chasing him. Okay, with the change of times, some guys actually like direct girls. But I think this is still applicable to most guys. Because when you think about evolutionary psychology, men are born hunters, which means it's innate for them to chase after something. Observe the playing field. Make sure that the effort that you're putting in is the same as the effort that he's giving to you. Stop the double triple texting. It makes you come off strong and too desperate. Thought you didn't have my number. Do you want to hang out tonight? I don't understand. You're coming online, but you're not replying. What the duck? This is a huge turnoff for guys. Okay, but I'm not saying to do nothing. Remember, balancing scales. You have to make it known clearly that you are single, available and interested. Guys actually don't pursue someone unless they know they're at least a bit interested. I don't know. It's the fear of rejection and related to pride. Number six, make him wait. After you've had a great conversation or a first date and you know you've piqued his interest, you gotta tune it back a little. Wait, why? Because this will make him want you more. When you give him some space, he starts to miss you. Miss hanging out with you, miss your voice, miss your laugh. <laughs> If you text him every second, he's not gonna have that time to think about how he feels. This is a test to know if he really, really likes you. Also, don't commit to him unless he's committed to you. Make it known that you are not entirely his yet by not making yourself easily available to him. Show him you have options. This will kickstart his competitive side and make you even more valuable. Patience is key. Make him miss you and leave it to his imagination and what you're doing and he will want you more. Number seven, be relatable. Be intrigued with his passions. Every human being loves to talk about what they're interested in. Make sure to listen to his hobbies, his interests, and pick out your brain about what you know about this topic so you can build on that conversation. Actively listening to his interests leaves a great impression. It makes you seem easy to talk to and genuine. One more thing to remember, relatable means don't talk about girly stuff. Don't talk about hair, makeup, nails. I don't know why, but I cringe all the time when I see videos of girls talking about these things on a date. Oh my god, like yesterday I was at the nail salon and this girl next to me was getting acrylics. Like those things are so bad for you. Oh, cool. They don't really care. Number eight, Miss Independent. You know what's harder than flaming Hot Cheetos, Spicy Noodles, and Chili? A Miss Independent. Guys freaking love ambitious girls. So if you have a passion, share it. If you have a goal, share it. It will not only keep the conversation going, but it also reveals what is unique to you. But of course, you shouldn't be dominating the conversation. Make sure it's a ping pong feel where you're going back and forth. Make sure not to make him your entire world. Continue to live your life separate from his because guys are not into clingy women. Hi there. I want you to marry me. Girlfriend, girlfriend, I will be your girlfriend. I will be your girlfriend. I will be your girlfriend. Oh my God. Number nine, know your worth, but don't say it. This ties into the last point about goals. Knowing your worth indeed changes how you act and carry yourself. When you believe that you deserve things, it typically comes into fruition. But make sure you're not telling people about it. It can come off as cocky, pretentious, and narcissistic. Imagine saying, I'm the best person in the world and I deserve everything. I am so pretty. God, that was cringy. These words are only meant for you, and if you feel like you have to like tell everyone about it, then you should question your motive. If you really believe in something, in this case your worth, then it doesn't have to be said. People can pick it up pretty easily if you really know your worth, and saying out loud just makes it lose its power. Number 10, be yourself. Well, duh. It is so exhausting to constantly change yourself for someone. Plus, you'll build up this false notion in your head that you're trying so hard for this person, but they're not making any effort for you. And as time progresses, your true self will still come out, and it might be that you guys aren't a good match. And that's okay. Might as well know now than later, so it saves you a lot of time.
Well, we finally made it to the end of this video. There you have it, 10 things to make a guy to like you. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I'll be posting fresh content every week. I'd love for you to join the community. I hope this helps. Till next time, peace.